we haven't talked about is your current marriage and your current situation. And I think it would be unfair to you to not address that in this space where we're being really open and honest. And Mm -hmm. it doesn't have to be the details of anything. Right. But if you've done all of this work and you've given yourself that grace and you've given yourself that space to grow and you've given yourself permission to love self, right? Then what happens when a man gets to the point where they're just like, okay, I'm filing for divorce. Integrity, intact. I I could never say anything that would not honor somebody. Absolutely. But I can tell you that this has not been a easy journey. Um, I can tell you that I'm saddened. I can mm. tell you that I'm disappointed. I can tell you that I'm uneasy, mm. right? But again, like God has put me in a different path and that path is gonna entail for me to take care of myself and to love myself and to be in the best situation that I can thrive as someone who's been through all the things that I've been through. It's kind of something you can't explain. Yeah, you can't. The real thing is like, you know, I don't like to fail in anything. Me either. You know, and, I don't want to lose. I don't want to fail. You know, I don't want to fail. Especially work. when I know what you've poured in. Right. And, you know, as I sit across from you, like I can only be responsible for myself. True. You know, and I can only do um, what I can do. Right. And I can't expect someone else to do what I'm doing. But did you go to therapy with her? Yeah. Okay, that's good. Right. So you actually addressed it, right. tried to work through it, mm-hmm. tried to do the work, mm-hmm. and it just was like not happening. You know, right. Well, then you tried. Yeah. I don't know about for you, but for me, it is a switch. Right. And when that switch and, is goes that what off, you, that's, that was your switch. Go on, the, the, yeah. But, but you know, I had to to realize for myself that anything that happened in the last what was it, a year and a half of my right. life that shouldn't have nothing to do with me. And that's and that's my that point have of case. Anything to do with me? I was not embarrassed. Right. I was not. I was. I the way that black people stood up for me. Mm-hmm. And the way that black women were like, oh no, you don't do that to her. Mm -hmm. I was shocked Mm -hmm. because I didn't realize that what I had done or what I've done in my career had so much impact. So guys, if you don't know who that is, that is Jeezy J Jenkins and the beautiful 50 something year old Nia Long. Now I've covered a couple of these videos in the past in reference to the whole divorce between or the divorce process between Jeezy and Jeannie Mai, right? And the homie said that therapy couldn't fix it. Now, there's a lot of speculation and things like that. But if you read between the lines and this entire sit down interview back and forth about this, you know that she cheated. Jeannie Mai cheated on the homie Jeezy. And you can say, JR, you're speculating. He talking about real men don't cheat, so on and so forth. He put emphasis on that. And y'all, you guys could probably say he's talking about Nia Long's or her ex, Ime Udoka. So obviously she still feels some type of way about that. And she's talking about her piece about the sisterhood coming to her defense with my man cheating with the bunny. But it is what it is. This guy, Jeezy, is what, 44? He just turned 44 or 45? Je- Jeannie Mai is around the same age. And to just be married and you you guys with the therapy and it's something that you can't get past and you guys got such a young child, come on now. That's really saying some stuff right there. If you can't get past, you guys can't patch it up. And Jeezy, you can just tell by his tone. You know, he said he was saddened after all the things I've been through. And here I am taking this L in marriage with a woman that I was in love with. And a lot of the ladies were making fun of him. And I seen all the TikToks and whatnot talking about, oh, now you want to go back to a black woman. Hey, my man, he just thought he found the one. He thought he found the one. And he thought that this woman was, it was going to be a forever thing. That's the wifey for lifey. But hey, she decided to give the cheeks up to somebody else. And you done put in all this effort, done embraced her culture, 
going over there to Vietnam and then had a baby with her. It, it, it shocked a lot of people because they thought being Jeezy, they, they couldn't see him being with that type of woman, even though he's been with different women. You know, he's dated women from all over or he's had kids. I think he's got two baby mamas that's of other ethnic groups, if you will. But he said some powerful stuff. He's I'm only responsible for me at the end of the day and my actions. And I can only, God has a different path that this came about in my life. And sometimes, guys, you have to realize that in relationships. Sometimes you will try to make things work. And as much as you try, it just doesn't go anywhere. You'll try to fix it. And it's like the more you are in a state of resistance, the worse it gets. The stronger it becomes instead of just letting it go. And I guess the homie was like, I just got to let it go. Sometimes it's just not in the cards, guys. A lot of you look at marriage from a standpoint of marriage is forever. We should not be doing this. We it's we took vows. It's till death do us and all this. We're never going to break up. We're going to stay together. And I'm pretty sure, like I said, in, in her culture, you have to save face. And it's definitely a L and she getting a high powered attorney involved in this situation as of right now and this thing in terms of custody this thing might stretch out but uh baby if you cheated on the homie jeezy my man said but you heard what the homie said that's so stupid i personally this is my quote and real yeah. niggas don't cheat you don't think so hell no thing right right like and you gotta know when it's time to be done right and that's usually not about another person, an affair, uh -huh, or, uh -huh. you know, some chick that's willing to, like, make you feel like a king. Because right. that's why most men cheat. Most men cheat because that's, the... That's a fascinating to me. It's so gross. It's so stupid. I personally... This is my quote. And real yeah. niggas don't cheat. You don't think so? Hell no. I kind of understand what they you mean not. when you say that. They do not. I understand what you it's, mean it's, when you say it's that. It's something in us yeah that makes us want to be right right yes. across the board but is that so that you you are living up to the expectation that you set for yourself and the elect when he said that but that's just how seriously folks take it hey that's how it is but i don't know man that's just something that's a whole other thing man i don't know guys you guys let me know what you guys think about this situation I'm pretty sure it's infidelity. <laughs> GR, you're speculating. Stop speculating, man. <laughs> she distributed the cheeks to somebody else, man. That's what happened, man. Anyway, comment below. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit me up on LinkTree to book a one-on-one -on -one with you. Let's truly purchase all my books, merch, t-shirts. Helps to support the channel. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. With that being said, much blessings and abundance. Stick around for the next video that's going to pop up on the screen below. That's where I'm going to see you guys at. It's your favorite everything. This is wisdom. I'm out of here. Peace.